Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you here. With your permission, I would like to begin. Tell us what this is. Without glasses, it looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a needle or a pin. It's a needle. That's uh, that's no, quite enough there. Wow. Please uh, take a seat and close your eyes and keep them closed. It all began with strange sounds. Sounds so strange that no one could explain where they came from. No one? Not quite. Some claimed it was the other side trying to communicate with uh, the living. Unfortunately not the clearest form of communication. Perhaps 
that's the reason why only a few chosen ones were able to facilitate a conversation. Tonight, we are the chosen ones. We are chosen to create contact. But don't be afraid. All you have to do is open your eyes and open your eyes. If you haven't been uh, brought here by a friend or spouse who thought that coming here would be an excellent idea, you are here for one, two or three reasons. Reason number one, uh, you're here because you've lost someone. And now you're here to ask that person something, hear something from the person, maybe tell that person something. If that's the case, I have to disappoint you. You've come to the wrong place. <laughs> but since you're here, you might as well stay. And to be honest, I think you've come to the right place just for the wrong reasons. Reason number two, you're here to be entertained. And while I think that this is uh, a little bit twisted, um, I respect it. It's good to know what your personal twists are and how to keep on twisting them even more. And I see what I can do. Reason number three, you're here because you struggle with the uncertainty of life. And now you're here to ask questions to the other side, hoping for answers. If that's the case, you have come to the perfect place. But the spirits demand payment. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about uh, secrets. Your secrets. Think of a secret that uh, no one knows about you. And I'm not talking about a big secret. I'm talking about a, a small secret. Um, a secret you would share uh, with a stranger like myself in a moment of uh, unusual intimacy. Uh, please uh, unfold your piece of paper and write down your secret in one sentence. For example, when I was five years old, uh, I flushed uh, my goldfish down the toilet in order to set him free. Uh, <laughs> didn't quite work. Uh, write your secret down in one sentence. If you are in the unusual situation of not having any secrets, write down, I have no secrets. And we all know that it's not true. Uh, make sure nobody sees what you're writing. Uh, fold it up. And once you've done that, please pass your secrets to, what's your name again? Karen. Karen. Here, you shall be the keeper of our secrets. Yes? Okay. Good. Take your time. Take your time. I borrow you for a moment. I can help you. Not at all. <laughs> um, what's in it? Lorraine. Lorraine. Lorraine, do you trust me? <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not offended if you don't, and I appreciate your honesty. Um, do you trust yourself? Yes. yes. Do you trust your instincts? Yes. Very good. I've got some uh, pictures here. Pictures of people? I'd like you to look at them one by one. If you get a good feeling for the person, put it on the left. If you get a not so good feeling, put it on the right. Don't think too much about it, just go with your first um, instinct. Can you do it in the light? You can do it in the light. <laughs> That's so. um, yeah. Okay, good and not so good. Yeah, the other not way around. Right. That's it, I trust. Yeah? yeah, that's a good one. That's done. That's Very good. I'm curious about two. I am curious about... Uh, 
I'm curious about him. I'm curious about I'm curious about those two because you were hesitating with both of them, and then you decided you had a good feeling about him and a bad feeling about him. If you you're going to tell me they're the same people. They're not. They're not. Um, if you look at the pictures again, are you still happy with your decision? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a good feeling about him. Yes. He's alive. He had a good feeling about him. Yes. <laughs> He's also alive. A good feeling about him. No. He's alive. A good feeling about her. She's alive. Uh, all the people that you had a, a good feeling about. Are alive, but maybe they're all alive. Mm. But in this case, we, we wouldn't be here. You know, bad thing about him. He's dead. Oh, wow. Bad thing about her. She's dead. All the people that you had uh, a bad feeling about. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lorraine, uh, you seem to see things that most people don't see. Or maybe it's because you're not talking. Uh, I would like you to play a special part tonight, if that's okay. Yeah? Um, take a seat. It's, uh, it's difficult to plan an evening like this because you never know what's going to happen. You never know. Um, yeah. And be prepared, nothing might happen. But I hope not. I'm hoping to... Um